come on and see the show. It's 11 o'clock. Welcome. Stepping into Puppet Parlor Theater in Michigan City is like stepping into another world. It is a world made of wood and string and paint and fabric. Yet it's a world that really only exists in one's imagination. A little girl came backstage and she came up and said to her mother, Mother, I want to be a marionette. And mother, of course, said to me, Will you tell her they're not real? Hello, how are you? I said, no, I'm not going to tell her they're not real. You only want warmth and goodness in your heart. And here's my little guy. Um, can you put that puppy back? Are you scared of him? And uh, you are welcome to our, uh, to our workshop. It's a mess, but that's where you work, you know, and create puppets. The reality is the hands of Ralph Kipnis have handcrafted some 4,000 puppets over the years. This is a plastic wood marionette made of plastic wood. He is devoted to a career that is about as high-tech as the wheel or fire. Puppetry started with the cavemen in their caves when they were doing, you know, they were signing with each other, you know, with shadow puppets. They do shadows and tell stories with their fingers. Some 200 years ago, Ralph says his great-grandparents started the Royal European Marionette Theater in Kiev, Russia. Much of his own career has been spent near the pinnacle of puppetry, having crossed paths with the likes of Jim Neighbors, Barbara Mandrell. I worked with uh, Kukla Friend and Ali on one of their, their shows called Many Moons. As thrilled as Ralph is about puppetry's rich history, he and his assistants appear equally worried about its somewhat shaky future in Michigan City. It can only stay open. Uh, if we get audiences, because that's the way it works. This is a story about one such person. And in that respect, this theater appears to be hanging by a thread. We love this part of theater, and uh, we hope that we can continue doing it with help of perhaps some grantors or some people that would uh, help us invest a little bit. In it. So, we're working here. We're a non-for-profit organization, and we are trying to have this theater really come alive for children so that all of Indiana will have the privilege and the joy of seeing a marionette show. It is a magical world that puppetry lives in. Mark Peterson, New Center 16.